Okay, so let's finish up this example here. Hopefully you had time to go on and, and complete the two. I'm going to finish up these two examples. So in number three, it says if you start with 5.5 moles of lithium chloride, so this is substance A, how many moles of calcium chloride, so find calcium chloride up here in your equation, how many moles of calcium chloride will be produced? So this is who we're trying to go to, and that's going, going to be who we're calling substance B. The equation is balanced with a 2, 1, 1, 1. There should be a plus sign here. Okay. All right. So let's start off our problem by starting off with our given. We always begin with our given, 5.5 moles, and that's of lithium chloride, L-I-C-L. -L. Do your T-chart. And now we're trying to convert this to moles of calcium chloride, so moles of CaCl2. All right, so we need moles of lithium chloride to cancel, moles LiCl, and we need moles of calcium chloride on top. All right, so look up here and get your numbers. Again, these numbers come straight from the balanced equation, so CaCl2 has a 1 in front of it, the 1 goes there, the lithium chloride has a 2 as its coefficient, meaning it takes two molecules of lithium chloride to make one molecule or one mole of calcium chloride. So here we're dividing by 2. So we have 5.5 divided by 2. And this has two sig figs. And remember, your mole ratio has one uh, unlimited sig figs because they're counting numbers. So when we round this, we're going to round it to two significant figures. So we need two sig figs in our answer. That means our 2.75 rounds to 2.8 for your answer to be correctly rounded to two sig figs. We have one last example that we're going to look at from your practice examples worksheet. And here you see it's balanced with a 2, 1, 2, 1. Always double check to make sure your equation is balanced, but just for the sake of going over the one-step conversions, I made sure all of these were balanced today. Now, on your homework, they may or may not be balanced, so always check that. All right, number four says, if you start with 20 moles of hydrochloric acid, let's try to find hydrochloric acid up in our equation. Okay, hopefully you found it. Here it goes, HCl. Okay, that's substance A. How many moles of sulfuric acid will be produced? So try to find sulfuric acid here. Remember, all acids start with hydrogen, so this is the sulfuric acid. Okay, so we're going to start with our given 20 moles. 20 moles of hydrochloric acid. And we're trying to convert this to moles of sulfuric acid, so H2SO4. Many of you wanted to know in the last chapter, was it necessary to write your formulas for your substances? And I, I said, yes, please do, because you need to be able to keep track of who you're dealing with at any point in time. So this is the reason why. Notice in this chapter, we are changing from substance A to substance B. So you need to keep track of your molecules. All right, so in our conversion factor, we need moles of HCl to cancel. And we need to find moles of sulfuric acid, so H2SO4 will go on top. This is our mole bridge. So come up here and look at your balanced equation and pull the coefficients down. So the sulfuric acid has a 1 beside of it, so you put a 1 here beside of H2SO4 moles. And the hydrochloric acid has a coefficient of 2, so we're going to put a 2 here. This lets the moles of HCl divide out, and you're left with moles of sulfuric acid. So we have 20 divided by 2. So 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. And now we're going to determine our sig figs. Now notice, the given is only has one significant figure because that's a trailing zero and there's not a decimal. So we have one sig fig here, and the mole bridge has unlimited sig figs. So we need one sig fig in our answer. So 10 moles with no decimal is your answer here. Okay, so those are the examples of the mole of A to mole of B calculations. Now for your homework, you're going to be doing the same thing on your worksheet that you were given in class.